The Monument to the Conquerors of Space Russian, Monument Pokorytelium Kosmosa tr. Monument. Pokorytelium Kosmosa. IPA, M M Ent Parker at L M Cosms was erected in Moscow in 1964 to celebrate achievements of the Soviet people in space exploration. It depicts a starting rocket that rises on its exhaust plume. The monument is 107 meters (351 feet) tall, has 77 degrees incline, and is made of titanium. The Memorial Museum of Cosmonautics is located inside the base of the monument. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Location and surroundings. The monument is located outside the main entry to today's exhibition of achievements of the national economy (VDNKH) in the northeastern part of Moscow, near Prospect Mira. Peace Avenue. The easiest access is from the VDNKH subway station. Since the 1960s, this part of Moscow in general has had a high concentration of space themed sites and names, besides the monument and the museum under it. The Grand Cosmos Pavilion in the Exhibition Center displayed many artifacts of the Soviet space program. Many streets in the area have been named after the precursors of the space program Nikolai Kobolshic, Friedrich Zander, Yuri Kondrachuk and its participants Sergei Korolyov. The Cosmonauts Alley south of the monument features busts of Soviet cosmonauts. The choice of this part of Moscow for space-related names and monuments may have been inspired by the fact that Prospect Mira runs toward the northeastern suburbs of Moscow, where, in Podlipki, today's Korolyov city, much of the space program was based. Korolyov himself lived in a house within a few blocks from the monument, which is now preserved as Korolyov Memorial Museum Russian History In March 1958, a few months after the launch of Sputnik 1, a competition was announced for the best design of an obelisk celebrating the dawn of the Space Age. Out of some 350 proposals, the design by sculptor A.P. Fadish Krandievsky and architects A.N. Kolchin and M.O. Barsh was chosen. The grand opening of the monument took place on October 4, 1964, on the day of the seventh anniversary of the Sputnik 1 launch. The monument was designed to accommodate a museum in its base. However, it took until April 10, 1981, two days before the 20th anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's flight, to complete the preparatory work and open the Memorial Museum of Cosmonautics. The museum reopened on April 12, 2009 after three years of renovations. <laughs> <laughs> Design and sculpture The main part of the monument is a giant obelisk topped by a rocket and resembling in shape the exhaust plume of the rocket. It is 107 meters (350 feet) tall and, on Korolyov's suggestion, covered with titanium cladding. A statue of Konstantin Sholkovsky, the precursor of astronautics, is located in front of the obelisk. A poem in Russian on the front of the stone base of the monument base says: "I nazi tem nagrajni usila kortu parborov bespravi i tima myot kavali plameni krylosvoe strain i vekusvoe." Approximate translation: And our efforts are rewarded. We have overcome powerlessness and darkness. We've forged these flaming wings for our nation and this age of ours. Below, in smaller letters, is the dedicatory statement. V Oznamenovani Vidasasar Dostazani Sovetskogo Naroda V Osvoni Kosmiseskogo Prostranstva Soruzanato Monument. This monument was constructed to celebrate the outstanding achievements of the Soviet people in space exploration. 
and the year, 1964. Both sides of the monument base, in their front parts, are decorated with Owen Bass reliefs depicting men and women of the space program. Scientists, engineers, workers, their occupations indicated by appropriate accoutrements of the professions. Notable figures include a computer programmer or perhaps some other computing or telecommunications professional holding a punched tape, a cosmonaut wearing a space suit, and Laika the space dog, first animal to orbit Earth. No contemporary Soviet politicians are depicted in the monument either that would violate the convention existing in the post-Joseph Stalin Soviet Union against commemorating living persons in this fashion, but the crowd on the right side of the monument are moving forward under the banner of Vladimir Lenin. The monument reflected in other media The Monument to the Conquerors of Space is featured on the 1967 10 kopeck piece, one of the series of the commemorative coins issued to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the October Revolution. This coin has the distinction of being the smallest denomination commemorative coin ever minted in the Soviet Union, it was the smallest coin in the 1967 series. The only time commemorative fractional currency coins were ever produced in the USSR. All later commemorative coins were either one ruble, or a higher denomination. The monument is also featured in the music video, Go West, by Pet Shop Boys. Also, monument featured in the music video, Sweet Lullaby, by Deep Forest. The monument is depicted on the home kit for the Russia national football team for the 2014 FIFA World Cup on the front of the shirts in different shades of maroon. Replicas The monument to Konstantin Sholkovsky in downtown Borovske, designed by Sergei Baichkov, contains a nearly exact scale replica of the conquerors of space, rocket needle, and a whimsical statue of Sholkovsky gazing into the skies and wearing Valinky boots. It was unveiled in 2007. A copy of this statue, but not the rocket needle, is installed at the Sir Thomas Brisbane Planetarium. A copy is also exhibited in the park of the United Nations office in Geneva, a gift donated by the USSR and designed by the architect Alexander Kolchin and sculptor Yuri Neroda. See also Memorial Museum of Astronautics Cosmonauts Alley